top of the morning guys today's video is going to be sponsored by i'm just kidding <laughs> by the uh you know some this protein shake that i'm going to take finally was able to clean the car because it's been raining non-stop i'm not going to lie i didn't hand wash her so she's not the best but clean car is a clean car let's go ahead and get this cold start in here video we are headed up to the shop to go check on the car um, today's either gonna go really good or really bad for them um, I'm pretty much fed up at this point if I'm being straight up with you guys the car has been sitting there since November 1st it's on a Tuesday right now it is currently Monday November 28th the car still has not moved they claim they bought the car in to kind of go over like how much labor and everything, body parts and everything is going to cost. So they gave me an estimate, which I have, but the car still has not bought, been bought into the shop to start the body work. So last week when I went up there, the guy who I've been communicating with told me that they would get the car. He didn't know what day specifically, but he would get the car in. I went up there on, or then I went up there again on Wednesday and he told me he'll have it in by Friday. Friday was Black Friday. When I went up there on Black Friday, no one was there. But when I was on the phone with him, he told me there were some guys up there and they would be there till 1, 1 p.m. Or no, 2 p.m. I pulled up by 1 p.m. by the time I was able to get there because I had to go all the way and pick up this for the car. I had to go up and pick up a headlight for the car because the one that I have for the car, the tab up top um, broke. Not the, well, part of the tab that, a piece that's part of the tab, I'll show you in a minute when I get to the shop. It broke basically. So I asked him if they could fix it. He said, honestly, just be better if you just get another headlight and we'll just put it on there. So I found one off Facebook Marketplace, bought it. By the time I was able to pick it up, bring it to them, no one was there. So today's Monday, uh, cause you know holidays and everything. And this is why I want this car to get the process started because I know once holiday, you know, if Christmas coming up, then you have New Year's, the car probably realistically at this point won't get done till, you know, sometime in January. And the car should have been done before then. It should have been done by November, if I'm being honest with you guys. Had they been able to get the car in whenever I first bought it there, Regardless, it should have been done by, if even not November, it should have been done by middle of December. You know, that's what I, we're supposed to be projected. But aside from that negativity, I hope everyone's having a glorious day. What were y'all thankful for this year? I know for me, um, thankful honestly guys, just as you know, as you get older, thankful for just good health and being alive. You know, it's a lot of people, Nowadays, especially with this whole flu season going around, people getting sick and people losing their lives over stupid things. Just you know, sometimes it's just being at the wrong place at the wrong time, all these shootings and everything. So I'm being honest with you guys. I'm just thankful to be able to see another beautiful day like this. It's been raining for the past like week or so, and it's just been hella depressing, guys. Like I don't get how people. I think it's like. Uh, Washington State I honestly don't get how they can do this six days out of the month like I was talking to my friend the other day and they said they have the highest suicide rating um, and I can definitely I mean it, that sucks it's, just, it's a crappy thing but like I can see why it's like it's depressing like I wanted to wash my car but it was like every single day it was cold and then on top of that it was raining I had like no motivation to like even want to leave my house. I mean, of course I still left, like I went to the gym, but the roads were always so sketch because you're just slipping and sliding. It's just, it was just hella depressing. We finally got enough of the rain and finally got some sunshine, some clear sun sky. So finally was able to take my car and wash it. And you know, it's just a nice, beautiful day, you know, so make the most of the day. Yeah, what's uh, what's everyone got planned for the for the holidays? I don't think I have. I'm actually gonna be out of town, um, which is 
is also another reason why one of my jobs that I do, I'm not gonna go into detail, but one of the jobs that I do requires me to travel. Um, so I'm actually supposed to be out of town for like a good um, three weeks or so. So I have to, this is why I really have to push to get the car in because if I don't push to get this car in today, um, I'm supposed to be leaving, I believe, by tomorrow or Wednesday, and I won't be back till like middle of December. So I apologize if there's not gonna be any uploads, um, but that's why I'm really trying to push to get this car in. So that way, when I get back, the car should be pretty much wrapped up because based on the labor hours that they gave me for the amount of work that they're gonna do to this car, it's gonna take them um, three, about three weeks. I'm gonna give them an extra week and say four because as I've stated, they like to give me the runaround. And when you do the math and everything, well, that was last week. It was, the car was supposed to be done the week before Christmas is what it was projected. Now that it's the next week, the car at this point is not gonna be projected to get done until the week of Christmas. So, like I said, then it's gonna be, uh, a lot of people are gonna be going out of town, this and that, blah, yada, yada, yada. So that's why I'm really pushing to get this car in now because I want it to get done. All right, guys. So just y'all, hi up. So y'all know, I'm not trying to make shit up. The car's been sitting in that same spot for the past month. So today's the day, guys. I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna talk to him. I'm not gonna bring you guys in, but we're getting it moved today. All right, guys, got the keys right here. So I spoke to him. He said they're gonna get the car in today. Um, I told him, I mean, I kind of walked in. I'm not gonna lie, I looked pissed off. Um, I'm, I'm pissed, I'm annoyed, like I said, guys. Cause it's been, I've been told the same thing over and over again. And it's just the same, same bullshit, in my opinion. And I'm really trying to be nice about it. I've been patient enough, I think. Cause you know, backstory guys, I've had, like I said, there's a body part, the rear hole. So let me actually just show you guys what I'm talking about. So this whole rear quarter panel has to get replaced. They're gonna cut it from wherever they're gonna cut it. And this whole thing is gonna get replaced. So I have a whole brand new piece inside the car or inside. They've been, ha they had it here since like July, I wanna say. So, but I've been having a struggle at finding someone to rebuild the engine for me. So it wasn't until I found someone who was able to rebuild it for me for cheap, but do it properly, right? Because all this got, has to get repainted now that it's finally not raining. You guys can see all these scratches, deep scratch. Well, it's actually not even a deep scratch. Yeah, those aren't deep. Well, no, that's a deep scratch. Yeah, so the whole hood has to get repainted and everything. So yeah, so I had to get someone to rebuild the engine. So it took a while, you know, cause all the shops that I went to, they wanted to charge me like, it was gonna be like $10,000, right? And that's, it's just a lot of money. So when I was finally able to find someone who's actually able to do it for cheaper, um, mobile, mo and he's mobile too. You know, I was able to get them to, we were able to rebuild the engine, order all the parts and everything I needed to order for the car. And it took about three, it took about three weeks, I wanna say. They kinda had to rush through it because, like I said, the body shop here was on my case to get the car in, or else they were gonna have to start charging me a storage fee. So I was rushing to get the car engine done so I could get the car in so we could get the body work started, or else I was gonna get charged a storage fee. So the car, like I said, has been sitting here since November 1st. So, you know, I think I've been more than patient enough because at first when I got the car here, I had to get two wheels for the car so that they can move it around, right? So I was able to have my friend lend me his um, stock um, wheels and I already have the two um, 305s in the rear here. So the car is mo movable, it can move. But like I said, the car's just been sitting here. So I've just been, I've just been a little irritated, you know, but I went inside and spoke to him and he said he's gonna get it in today. Um, you know, it was holidays and two, uh, one of the body guys was out at a funeral Friday and Saturday. So 
I still need to order another one of those. So the car, like I said, it's just been sitting here. So, but he, he claims that they're gonna get it done today after he gets done finishing up a Ford. So if I come here tomorrow, right? Or I'm gonna come back later today, actually, um, and check on the car, just to make sure everything is gonna get started. But let me actually show you guys in here where this headlight that I got is broken. If I could get this thing open with one hand. So, right here, this is broken. So right here, so I was gonna see if they could maybe just fit, try, and, try and fix that, but he said it'd just be best if I just ordered an, or got a new one. So that's what I went ahead and did, um, cause this is broken. I don't even remember how much I paid for this thing. I think it still works. I'm not even really entirely sure because I need the connector. So right now that's currently the only one that works. Um, and then also if you can see in here, this is kind of like out. So I don't even know if this works properly. Yeah, um, at the end of the day, guys, I'm just happy that they're gonna be able to do the work. I know I'm, I'm like irritated and I'm pissed off, but when it comes to things like these, you just got to be patient, you know, but I mean, obviously it's a lot easier said than done, but yeah, it's just being patient at this point. I mean, I can only do so much, but he's definitely reassuring me that he's going to have the car in today. I won't, when I come back, I won't see it outside, outside anymore. Excuse me. So that's, that's what, that's all I want. That's all I'm asking for, you know, so we can get the body, the, the body work started like I said, we got a, this car's got a lot of work to do. It's got to repaint the whole hood. Obviously, it's not a big deal. Don't have to get a new hood, just um, paint it. They're gonna have to paint this. They're gonna have to do some repairs to it. They're gonna need some bolts because this thing is not in there properly. They're gonna need splash shield for the wheels. Um, obviously, they have to do the whole rocker panel underneath. I don't know if you guys can see underneath here, but they're gonna have to fix all of this as well. So when they put the rocker, it sits properly. The door, they're gonna have to paint. The door's perfectly fine. Um, they're just gonna have to paint it. We're gonna need to get some clips for this right here, because this is not seated properly in there. I also had to get a speaker, which they have inside, because whenever the car was getting rebuilt, or I had the, um, whenever I was getting the engine rebuilt, they put this mirror back on there for me, um, which I'm grateful for. Um, but they noticed that this didn't have a tweeter. So I had to order a new tweeter for the car as well. But you yeah, have a whole rocker. And then, like I said, they're gonna take this whole, cut this whole thing out. So they're gonna have to take out the rear seats, the glass, everything. The car, they're gonna have to reuse this glass because the car doesn't have the piece that I have inside. It's all shattered. It's like, I think it's like this much is left. So they're gonna have to take, reuse this tire glass, gotta repaint the spoiler. I'm gonna change this out anyways, but repaint the spoiler. They're gonna have to fix the trunk, make sure it aligns up. I think it was damaged a little bit. I mean, obviously you can see right here, this doesn't sit properly. That's un hella uneven. So I guess whenever the impact hit, it, I think it pushed everything. As you can see right here, this doesn't seat properly up here. And that even has missing some paint right there. So, um, and this right here is pushed in downwards. So yeah, it doesn't seat properly. This is, yeah, it doesn't seat properly at all. You have a small little dent right here that my friend pointed out, so I'm gonna get that fixed. I mean, this whole side, Aside from that dent is good. I don't even think we're gonna need to do paint on this side at all. If I'm being honest, I'll need the 5.0 badge emblem. Yeah, this whole side is perfectly fine. But aside from that small little dent that you can, I can see, I don't know if you guys can see it on video, but it's, um, let me see, yeah, it's right, right there that small little dent. But aside from that, I have 
do one of these, you know. I just, I can't wait for this car to get done, like I said. I got a rear brake light, fourth brake light. They're gonna get me a new one of these rear bumpers, so. Cause this thing kinda like wiggles. So I don't even know if that's seating properly, so. You know. The car, it'll, it'll get there, it'll get there. You guys wanna hear a cold start up? Car hasn't been started in a while. I don't know if I told y'all, but um, we had an issue with the car not wanting to start, and it was because of the cold air intake. Uh, so I know they require a tune, so I guess what happens is whenever you have the mass airflow sensor plugged in, um, it's throwing the, it's not reading it properly. So it's causing the car to like misfire or or it just, it, it, have, it struggles to start up basically. So whenever I had my guy here, he unplugged it and then it started right up. So he said, just leave this unplugged. Don't really leave the car running. Don't do anything over excessive until we can get it properly tuned and everything. And you know, we'll kind of go from there. So, so now that it's unplugged, should be able to just walk right in here, right? Keys in my pocket and the car should start right up. I presume. Well, that also has E85 in it too, so. E85 cold startup. There, this E85, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, it won't even, I have to like keep my foot on the gas for it to fully stay idled. I don't know how long I have to keep that going up for. on uh going up and down so 
I'm gonna see if I can't take the car just around the block for a second just to see how it's driving. So, let's see. Let's see how this goes. guys we are back in my car so yeah <laughs> he came out and uh apparently i guess some people were complaining because the car is just dumb loud like i said i had to keep my foot on the accelerator for it to stay idle so it wouldn't turn off on me and then once it got up to its temperature because with that stupid cammed uh ghost tune or whatever it shot up to like three or four thousand rpm and then it went down back to idle and it held at idle so i was tell i was explaining to him why what i was doing um so that way i got the car warm for them he said they should get the car in around lunchtime um so that way when they get the car in it'll just they can just pull it in and it'll be good to go um so they can start working on it and the car won't be sitting there trying turning off on them you know all the time and everything but i gotta get back home so i'm, I'm gonna make this video um pretty short today that's where i'm gonna end it off like i said i'm gonna be out of town for the next like three weeks or so so i really won't be able to bring give you guys an update on the car he said he's gonna call me if they need anything else to kind of give me an update and everything so as soon as not i know some more information and i'm back in town i will definitely get come here and make another video and keep you guys updated along this process but i can't wait for this car to get done he's tr trying to convince me to take uh, make the car a different color and i'm like but that's gonna add to the total bill and now he's saying that they might even have to just repaint the entire car because apparently the the roof is um faded sorry my radar here he said the roof's kind of faded so we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to see you know once it's all we're gonna have to see when it's all said and done but aside from that guys i will catch you guys on the next one and remember to always keep shifting forward i'm out yeah, uh, feel me. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit.